I'm Jennifer Angel. These are your stars for February Leo. Now your month ahead, love and money can combine this month. Now, you know, I always say there's two things that make the world go round. One's love and one's money. But when you combine them, it's not always a, a great recipe. So you want to be uh, beware and be careful of power plays. Okay, so um, certainly you need to always stand up for yourself and make sure that you're being treating, treated fairly. But there's a way to do it. So you want to be sort of diplomatic and maybe a bit strategic. Now, career and money specifically, let's have a look there. So the full moon this month is on the 25th and it's occurring in your second house. So this is all to do with money and possessions. So I want to say to you with the full moon, because it's emotional energy, don't make assumptions. You want to make sure that you get the facts and figures before you make any judgments or assume anything, okay? Avoid risks with your career. Um, and and don't be tempted to go into you know get rich quick, quick schemes if someone's trying to sell you something that doesn't quite add up then it probably isn't adding up so you know trust your instincts trust your intuition you have a plan so stay the course on the plan um, so my feeling is with the astro um, pattern at the moment is just to steadily keep working forward uh, rather than try to you know get involved with some risky business so love and romance so Venus is situated in your um, seventh house moves in on the second now this is the area of love partnerships relationships and on the seventh Venus and Jupiter Jupiter is the planet of abundance and expansion have a, a trine on the 7th which is a soft aspect and it's really like a lucky in love period for you so if you're looking for love Leo then this certainly could be your lucky month if you're not looking for love it might even might be impossible to avoid it okay um, and of course if you're in a relationship then this is a good time to uh, you know check your relationship and reconnect with each other now Venus and Uranus also have an aspect, it's a sextile, another soft aspect on the 6th of the month. So with this, um, connect, with this aspect and transit uh, uh, affecting your sign with Venus being in your area of relationships, then you could expect to meet someone who's a little bit different, out of the mold of you, the normal person that you would be attracted to, let's say. So try to keep an open mind and open heart there. Um, Uranus is really a planet of eccentric personality, so um, you could be in for an interesting time, let's say. Now my angel advice for you this month is keep an open mind and an open heart and try not to make any judgments uh, particularly in the beginning and you know to sit back and wait to see how things play out have a great month leo love and luck to you i'm jennifer angel bye for now